Hey guys, it's Nick here at Atlas Truck Co. And we're going to go ahead and show you all the little components that go into a reverse kingpin truck. So right here, we got one fully assembled, and right here we got one completely broken apart. We're going to go through piece by piece, let you know everything you need to know about every little part. Let's get started. Alright, first things first, we got the hanger. It's a crucial part of the truck. It's what actually you put your wheels onto and you screw down, and it's what allows the truck to turn. So let's go ahead and get into all the little parts of that. All right, so for the body, it's made of aluminum. Its width in millimeters measures how far the wheels are separated when they're mounted from there to there. It also contains the hole that the kingpin goes through, which holds the hanger onto the base plate, and it contains a bushing seat for bushings. It also contains a pivot, which is either cylindrical or spherical, that allows it to actually rotate side to side. All right, so the steel rod that goes through the body of the truck is called the axle. It's made out of steel, and it is the part that the bearings and the wheels get mounted onto. One thing that's unique about the Atlas axle is that we start with a 10 millimeter one that goes all the way through. This provides added strength to the entire hanger and reduces bending. And then we mill it down to 8 millimeters so you don't have to buy any funky kind of bearings. You can buy your traditional standard bearings and they'll fit on there just fine. The next part we're going to talk about is the pivot. The pivot, made of aluminum, still part of the body, is the only part of the hanger that physically comes into contact with the base plate. Pivots can be cylindrical or in this case spherical. The benefits of a spherical pivot mean more surface area on the pivot cup, which we'll talk about later. This allows for a more fluid motion and provides a little bit more control when turning. Final thing we need to talk about are bushing seats. They exist on both the front and the back of hangers. Bushing seats' primary purpose is to support bushings as well as limit their movement side to side. What this does is it controls how much the rider is allowed to turn back and forth. A couple other factors go into this, such as bushing formula and hardness of the bushing, but we'll get into that later.